Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into another custom minifigure Monday. I figured that with the release of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7 on Disney+, Plus, as well as my Star Wars Clone Wars CMF series, which I will link at the end of this video, I figured why not go ahead and let's update the Mandalorian figure. I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time now. Let's update it to the best car armor, and I just figured it made sense, Disney+, Plus and Mandalorian, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go through all the parts and different things that I use for this figure, but uh, just a heads up, spoilers for The Mandalorian if you haven't seen it, I guess. Not really a spoiler, but uh, anyways, let's go ahead and let's get started. So, of course, the helmet itself is the Mandalorian's from the only set right now that you can get the Mando in, but he will be coming in the Razor Crest. The cape piece, however, is black because I think it's more accurate and the cape piece is from the Mandalorian Battle Pack. The arms are silver and that's pretty common to get. You can get that. Not too hard to get, I don't think. And the hands as well are reddish brown. The legs are the Mandalorians and the torso is probably the hardest part to get. And that is Jango Fett's and it has been a little bit of years since we've gotten Jango Fett but I just think that it looks the best out of any Mandalorian chest piece that we have, and it just works really well for the best car armor. And specifically the arms as well in silver, I think work for the best car armor. And I just think that the legs maybe need some work. The left one can stay the same, but the right one could maybe use a substitute. It was hard to come up with one, so I and I really don't like taking the legs apart because I feel like it's going to crack, so I'm just happy with how that looks there. And the belt piece is Catman using the Lego Batman movies utility belt piece in reddish brown, and that's pretty common. That was from the CMS series, and honestly, I'm sure that thing is just super cheap. It's not hard to get. He's not a very sought-after character. And the rifle there is the exact same build from the set. Now this is the spoilery part, if you haven't seen The Mandalorian, oh my goodness, it's such a big spoiler, underneath the helmet is, well, it's just Pedro Pascal, I figured that this looks like him, this is of course Cassian Andor's face from the Rogue One sets, and I just think that it works the best for him, I mean, we haven't really seen what he looks like without the, like, scar and bloody and all that from uh, IG-11 taking off the helmet, but honestly, I think that this works well. But uh, anyways, everyone, that is my custom Mandalorian Beskar armor upgrade. What do you think of it? Let me know down below in the comment sections if you have any suggestions, ideas for arms, legs, head, whatever, all of the above. Guys, I hope that you did enjoy the video. Check out the Star Wars CMS series linked at the end here, and I hope that you did enjoy this, and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.